Hi guys, welcome to the Watchmen Dead. Now, I have never seen any of this. This is my first time. I'm gonna have great reactions. This morning, there's a bunch of spurs in this game. A bunch. I know a lot of four in the house. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from making then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. <laughs> with all due respect. A real shame, Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of them. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Yeah. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Hey, guess what, cop? Don't be so rude. You want to know how I see it? Too bad, my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Okay. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Hey. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. I don't want to sit here. Let me move, please. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Now tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man, Man? <laughs> not even close. They mm. caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing okay. and a bit more hilarious, if I do say so. This other time... I'm fine. I grace for him. He's just dropping it. I don't care about it, son. He's like, mm -hmm. He's like boom. I'm just driving. Hit a tree. Oh, God, I'm falling. Oh, what? I think he's dead. Is that that Okay. 
Let's go. Well, that's going to be it for the first episode. Bye!